Hello, welcome back. It is your girl, Marlena Parks. We are here for another beautiful week of Big Idea Food Bible Study, and I am very excited to get into this one today. If you don't know, I am the author of Big Idea Food. It is the weekly devotional for entrepreneurs, side hustlers, and dreamers. If you have not gotten a copy of this jewel, <laughs> definitely get you one of these because it is, uh, it's just your companion for all things business as you build the big ideas that God has given you in partnership with the Lord. Okay. Um, so tap in. If you are here from uh, the study journal, welcome. I am so glad you're here and we are going to have another beautiful study this week. So let's get into it. What's up LA Connects? We're going to pray and we're going to get started. Oh, Father, thank you so much for another beautiful, blessed, glorious day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, I thank you so much just to be here, to be alive, to be breathing, to be able to move my body and to just have a sound mind in this moment, Lord. I just thank you so much. Right now, I invite you into this study as always and ask you to have your way, Lord. Do what you do. <laughs> do what you do, Lord. Um, as always, this is your platform. This is your space to teach. Um, I give you my boat to teach from. I open wide my mouth for you to fill it. And Lord, I just pray that you would speak what needs to be spoken today concerning today's study. Um, you know that what we need to hear today, uh, for those of us who are listening the day that I'm recording or those who are listening to this 15 years from now, Lord, I thank you that you have the power to speak rhema word to our specific situations and seasons going on right now. And so I just ask that you would do that. Give us this day, whatever day it is, <laughs> our daily bread and um, help us to receive it, Lord. Give us ears and hearts that are ready to receive and who are listening. And just let this be this word be everything that we need to feed us and fuel us for um the next steps that we're taking. Lord, our eyes are on you. Um, I thank you so much for hearing this prayer. Thank you so much for giving me this beautiful platform to teach and speak from, Lord. I am so grateful for this privilege. Um, so just have your way. <laughs> we love you. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. That is the, um, that is it. Let's get, get into it. Um, this week, uh, we are talking about Big Idea Food, week 43. Um, amen. Thank you, girl. Um, week 43, which is I Don't Reinvent Wheels. Okay, I Don't Reinvent Wheels. And this is such a good one. Um, I think it's, today is going to be story time uh, for me and where I am in my life now um, as we get into the study. But um, this devotional, if you don't have a copy, um, this was about essentially how there's just so much out there that's already invented like why would we spend time and energy trying to reinvent a wheel when it comes to uh you know things in our business systems uh whatever the case right when so much is already figured out for us that we don't got to figure it out and so um the scripture that is based on is Deuteronomy 6 and verses 10 through 11 and the new Inter new international version reads when the lord your god brings you into a land with large flourishing cities you did not build houses filled with all kinds of good things you did not provide wells you did not dig and vineyards and olive groves you did not plant and I actually ended it there but i reading this um, I just had a moment with the Lord, like, Lord, now, you know, when we don't actually like <laughs> when we don't put in on stuff, sometimes we can be a little less careful of the things that you give us. So why would you bring them into a land where they didn't have to put in on nothing, Lord? Like they didn't have to build the city. They didn't even have to fill the house with the things. They didn't have to dig the wells like they didn't have to do any work. And I was just like, Lord. Make it make sense because we be needing to put in on stuff. And, you know, really what he gave me, especially looking at it from a business perspective was, you know, I'm bringing you into a place where you don't have to um, 
you don't have to build it, right? It's already built. It's already figured out. It's the, the wells have been dug. The vineyards have been planted. You just need to come in and take ownership and take stewardship and take rulership over what is already present. And who, as I think about that, even in this moment, you know, I think that there are, there are things that, you know, and things that God has already figured out <laughs> from a spiritual perspective as it pertains to your business and the work that you are building and producing. There are things that he has already figured out, already got in motion, literally already built out <laughs> for you. And we just have to walk into it and start functioning in it and with it, right? And so um, I guess that's blessing me right now because, you know, as I as I was writing this and even studying it this week, I was just thinking about, you know, there are things that I am going to be building and there are like very tangible pieces um, to the systems puzzle that I am going to be building for, for Big Idea Food um, and that we are all building as we are systemizing our businesses out. So I'm thinking about the very tangible things that need to be built, but this is just bringing to mind how... Um, truly like the things are already figured out <laughs> they're already figured out you know when he, the lord brought the children of israel into the promised land he brought them the promised land included this aspect right where they didn't have to build the cities they didn't have to plant the vineyards that was part of the promised land and i believe that 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 we all have a proverbial promised land that the lord is bringing each of us into right um some of you may see the the work of your business <laughs> bringing you closer into that promised land right i know i do and so as i think about just moving into somewhere that i don't have to do the work <laughs> to make it function it's just a really good like that's giving promised land for me like you know it's giving rest it's giving ease and that makes sense for our amazing god right um and so you know we're gonna get into this again talking about how we're not gonna reinvent wheels and um i've named today's study you know take rulership over your business because that is really what i sense god really speaking into my heart as i was studying this for myself um i'm in a place right now where I am on the precipice of <laughs> sort of building out the the next system and phase of Big Idea Food. And um, I've been here before. I've been here before. And I was here with a different heart posture, <laughs> right? And so God, I was here with a different heart posture. And I was here with uh, a level of healing that was not yet present in my life and in my, my emotional state, um, this was a few years ago. So I was a few years ago, I was ready to like, go crazy, go hard, build all the systems for Big Idea Food, doing too much, right? And God really sat me down for, um, gosh, I mean, when did this start? I think it started at the end of 2020, maybe 2021. So that was the time frame that is that he kind of sat me down to really do surgery in my heart, in my mind, in my, in my, my emotional state and healing. And, um, get me to a place where I could handle the system that I believe he's already put in place for Big Idea Food for me to take rulership over um, because I was not there yet. I was not ready. If 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 he was going to be sending a bunch of people to me, it was about to be a mess, <laughs> right? It was going to be not the best situation. Um, but now, you know, that he has recalibrated my thinking, I am aligned with what I'm supposed to be doing. I am in you know, alignment with the, the heart posture of shepherding and just loving the people <laughs> that the Lord sends me first, right? And that love being built and baked into every aspect of this business from the ruta to the tuta, right? <laughs> every system, every email, right? Every funnel, every every touch point, right? Has to be dripping with the love of God. And um, that is where he has brought me. And that was not my mindset, y'all, back in the day. Okay? It was not it. So we praise God that I'm here now. <laughs> What's up, Rel? Um, We praise God that I'm here now. And um, I'm just really excited because he's shown me a pathway to building out the actual, like, the official Big Idea Food funnel. And um, I'm really, like... It's, I've been in prayer over it. I was like fasting last week and praying and um, just because I'm considering a very specific direction and um, very specific resources as I get to building it. And I just wanted to ask him for wisdom about all of it. 
and uh he has whew, listen when he says ask for wisdom and i'll give it to you liberally he gives it to you liberally <laughs> and so i have been receiving like liberal wisdom downloads over the past week about just the system that big idea food is going to be building and um i'm just so excited because the system is something that i am able to um sort of plug and chug with instead of like building from the ground up and figuring out from the ground up and it's just like oh my gosh like i'm so i'm just so excited so you know I don't know. Just being here uh, is just a really cool place. And this, even this, um, this week's message about not reinventing wheels was super timely in terms of, um, you know, this is something that I am actively praying about right now. And this just so happened to be the study <laughs> for me, right? Because I do this for myself before I bring it to y'all. Okay. And so uh, it's just really blessed me. And uh, one of the things that I did as a part of this study was I went back to look at one of the a devotional that I wrote probably back in 2021 that was about systems. And it was so funny because um, that in that devotion and at that time, I was still working a nine to five. And I was sort of complaining in the devotional about like, gosh, like, you know, or I was complaining to a friend about how much I was just so tired and exhausted from working so much and just really wanting to spend my time on big idea food and just, you know, being frustrated with how much time I couldn't spend because I, you know, was taken up by my job. And um, my good sis got me together and she was like, sis, get out of your feelings and get into these good systems. Okay. That's what you need to be doing. <laughs> and it was just like, you right. You right. Like get into your feelings are not helping you get any closer to leaving your nine to five. Right. And that's where I was, you know, at that time I had, I now work again. It's not a traditional nine to five. I do consulting work, but, um, it's kind of similar setup where a lot of my time is spent for clients and I would love for it to be spent more on big idea food. And it's like, okay, we're at that place again, where I'm feeling some of that pressure. Um, but, I am more equipped now to build out the systems that are needed so that I can do what I need to do to, you know what I'm saying? Make consulting less necessary in my life. <laughs> um, but yeah, get out of your feelings and get into your systems is, is kind of, um, just was a really, really good message for me today. And so I think we're going to talk about that as we get into this today. Um, uh, we're going to talk about, we're just going to get into it and see what the Lord has to say. Um, the and I think I might want to start here because y'all here we we talking about not reinventing wheels and we're talking about employing systems in our businesses and I think I really want to focus on um the systems piece because I feel like that is what um I feel like that's how the Lord is ministering it to me so I want to go to the first scripture that really like kind of blew my mind <laughs> when I read this in this transition in this translation. Um, yes, LA connects, get out of your feelings and into these systems, sis. Um, but the first scripture and the first point, if you're taking notes, um, this is actually the second point, but I think I'm gonna start here. But um, the first point, if you are taking down notes, is God produced systems that could operate while He rested, and so will I. Okay. God produced systems that could operate while he rested, and so will I. And y'all, this scripture, I had never seen, all the times I'd have read Genesis, I had never seen this before, um, before I wrote this new, this devotional a few years back. And it's Genesis chapter 2, verse 3, and it's in the complete Jewish Bible translation. And it says, this is after God had created all the heavens and the earth, and then um, he's getting ready to go into that seventh day, um, his rest day. And it says, God blessed the seventh day and separated it as holy because on that day, God rested from all his work, which he had created so that it itself could produce. Do y'all see that? He rested from all his work, which he had created so that it itself could produce. Y'all, so that the work itself could produce. I was like, not God out here creating systems. Okay, wait a minute. Let me learn some. Because clearly he's a master expert at systems just like everything else. And it was just like a very big mind blown moment of like, even God himself created systems. Literally, the way that everything operates, <laughs> right? From, from seeds and plants and how they get planted and grow and produce other seeds. That's a system, right? 
Um, he created angels to support his work and rulership in the earth. That's a system. He got a staff, y'all. Like, I just started seeing all these things again. Just I was I'm and, and am so absorbed in this business kind of focus. It was like, wow, Lord, you literally created systems. And so that's why I say here in this point, right? God produced systems to operate while he rested. So will I, right? So will I. I'm created in God's image. We, we're obviously system creators, right? If God is out here creating systems, I'm supposed to be doing that as well. So will I. And so can I, right? Because I'm created in his image. Because I have the power to create systems. God is not out here individually making every single plant grow, making sure your heart is beating. Or, you know what I'm saying? He, he produced the systems of the body, <laughs> right? To run and function and produce on their own. Woo! I mean, God is awesome. He is literally the originator of systems, right? Like he is the, the architect of we're going to build, a, you know, we're going to build out a machine and a system so that <laughs> we don't have to do all this work on our own. Like God, he started with rest from the beginning. He, I'm not about to work 24 seven on this good seventh day. We're going to rest. Okay. And that is just so good to me. Just the thought of God as a system creator is so good to me. And I hope it's good to you as a business owner uh, because it is the way that we should be functioning. It is the um, part of the culture of a, a business that God has breathed, right? It should have systems. You should not be sitting here manually doing every single thing all the all the days of your life, right? I know sometimes we got to start there, but we do not have to end there, okay? Okay. And so that just, it just blesses me so, so much um, to think about that. And one of the things, you know, that, oh gosh, where do we want to go with this? When I think about what the system, I'm just thinking about, this is just hitting me right now. But when I think about what the systems God created allowed uh, to exist, right? The, the, the systems produced all of this beautiful creation that we see today, right? All of us, right? Um, just all of the beauty that we are surrounded with, his systems produce that. And as I was studying this for myself, I was thinking, if you have your study journal, you can see the journal prompt for this week. And I was like, man, I wish I had made it this prompt because this is what the Holy Spirit gave me. Um, but he said, imagine the life that systems give you, gives you. Imagine the life that systems gives you. If you have a journal, definitely, um, you know, write that down as another potential journal prompt for you to meditate on. Because, baby, when I tell you, I just this morning I spent some time and just did some visualizing around the system that I'm imagining building for Big Idea Food and um, the life that having that system is going to provide for me. And it is just, oh, it was just so good to me. And I just want you to have that. But you know, that is something that, you know, God was able to, all of this was possible, right? Because of the systems that God put into place. And so it's like, imagine, imagine if he can do all of this beautiful creation. And if we are, you know, we are made in his image and meant to have, you know, beautiful creation from our own fingertips as well. Like imagine what you can create in your life just by employing systems. And the biggest thing, y'all, because like we could sit there for a minute and I really want to sit there, but I think I need to move on. But like the biggest um, kind of piece that those systems create for us and that I see here in this scripture is rest. Is rest. It says on that day, God rested from all his work, which he had created so that it itself could produce and studying this out i realized you know systems allowed god to rest systems allowed god to rest and that's so good because when i was uh just visualizing what systems would bring into my life right <laughs> um that that was probably the biggest thing is just the ability to rest the ability to have more margin in my day to day, right? The ability to have more presence with 
myself, with God, with my family, with my community, with people, with strangers, right? <laughs> As I was just imagining what the possibilities, right? If systems provide rest, oh, imagine what you can create from rest, right? Imagine what you can produce from a place of rest. And you may be rested right now, but if you are like me and I feel very not rested lately <laughs> because of all that has been going on, um, just the just to imagine the connection between creating those systems and rest, it's just really encouraging to me. And I hope for you, if you if you're feeling tired. <laughs> overwhelmed if you're feeling like gosh you know the business is great but man it's just so much work right oh think about the rest that is going to be present as you get as you employ these systems right uh i just it gets me very excited um because your systems just like god's systems allowed him to rest your systems are going to allow you to rest too right and that is ooh that makes it worth it, right? Um, we we talked about how God is going to help us um, walk into vineyards we didn't have to plant and wells we didn't have to dig. So I believe that there are systems that you don't even have to build, right? That he is going to just reveal to you that you can just step in and start using, right? Um, but even if you do have to spend some time and build a little bit or, you know, maintain it a little bit to get it to where it needs to go, like, the fruit of that work, the fruit of that labor is rest. <laughs> and so that is just the best investment that you can make uh, of your labor, right? Is to allow yourself to to invest in, uh, to invest current labor for future rest. Ooh, it's just so good. It's just so, so good. It's so, so good. Um, one of the things that I am exploring just as I, you know, just sharing my specific stuff that's going on in my world. Um, one of the systems that I believe that God has um, connected me with is um, there. I'm going to take a program that's really catered to authors. Um, and I've looked at author programs before, but I have enough marketing knowledge that many of them and many of them are geared toward helping authors learn how to market. And it's like, eh, I don't need to spend money for that. But this program is very catered to an author who recognizes the specific marketing <laughs> needs that need to happen. And um, specifically, it's um, going to be training me how to um, build and run and test ads that are going to be able to help me find my people, uh, find all the people who need this book <laughs> on the planet, which is my goal. And I feel like my um, calling is to do that work to make sure everybody on this planet that's supposed to have this book has it. Um, and so, but what, what I'm so excited about with this particular program and investing in it is that um, really they are teaching you something that's very plug, plug and play. Um, and it's something that I could build. I know how to build a funnel. I know how to, um, I know enough about ads that I could kind of get in there and do some stuff. But uh, this has so much already figured out and mapped out that I can just kind of come in, follow the steps and boom. And so for me, that's like a vineyard that I didn't have to plant, <laughs> right? It's a, it's a well that I didn't have to dig. I could have dug it, right? I got, I got two arms. I got a shovel. I could figure this out, right? I have knowledge about marketing and building these things out, but I praise God that he has shown me, um, and giving me wisdom for uh, something that I can use that, again, I don't have to reinvent the wheel. And really, those are the systems that I want us to to keep our eyes out, <laughs> you know, keep your eyes open to see, right? Is, you know, I know I need systems in the business because those are going to give me rest. Like <laughs> LA Connect said, fruit of labor equals rest. Yes. Okay. Um, those are the things that are going to get me there. And so can I find, I know I need a system. Can I find a system that is already built, right? Can I find a system that's already functioning that I can just step into and it takes less labor to kind of get it up and running um, on behalf of my business? Um, those are the systems that I believe are part of our portion <laughs> in the promised land, right? Um, God has made it so that there, there can be rest and there can be ease because we got work to do, you know, like... At the end of the day, I think I'm pretty sure he would rather you be doing more of the work that you were called to do than being caught up 
in the mundane work that you know you would need to do if you didn't have a system in place right um for me there's there are more books that need to be written and so i need to spend as little time as possible actually running the business so that i can just write <laughs> freely so that i can receive these good downloads and get this out to you guys and so whatever i have to do to free up margin to free up rest to free up presence and just space <laughs> to create um that's what i'm gonna do okay that's what i'm gonna do and i encourage you to do it as well um so hopefully that um that blesses you really when oof, the system the fact that systems allow god to rest was just a word for me okay let me know if it was a word for you um it was a word for la connect so <laughs> woo sis um and so where do we want to go from here? Where do we want to go from here? One of the, um, is this where we want to go? No, no, let me take a drink and, and think. Cause there's like two, two directions. <laughs> so I, I titled this live, take rulership over your business. And, um, that was because as I was studying this out, I um, was looking at uh, Genesis 1. So we were still in Genesis, but chapter 1 and verses 26 and 27 when God made man. And literally the first thing he told man to do was to rule, take dominion, right? Um, let me pull that up so I can read it. Actually, let me use my new pretty Bible. Have y'all seen my Bible? It is so cute. Let me know if you want the link because I will send you that good Amazon link, okay? Because it is so gorgeous. Um, but Genesis chapter 1, yes, in verse 28. No. Verse 26. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground. Right. He made us to rule. And I extend that to I got you, girl. I got you. girl. Actually, DM me so I don't forget. <laughs> Um, I will send you that link because it is it's such a beautiful Bible and it's a G it's the Jesus Bible. So all of the like articles are about how even Old Testament scripture is pointing to and always from the beginning was always pointing to Jesus. And it's just we got to meditate on our savior. OK, because we become like him when we meditate on him. And that is my focus of getting this study Bible. But anyway, yes, DM me so I don't forget <laughs> to send that to you. Um but, um, yeah, that was the first thing he said. Like, y'all are created to rule. You're literally created to rule over everything. And I extend that to my business, right? Take rulership over your business. Take dominion over your business. And when you think about kings <laughs> ruling, how are they doing that? They're literally doing it with systems. They have people and different hierarchies of of staff in place they have um many rulers up underneath them that are ruling over over smaller territories um they have systems for bringing in resources and taking them you know and sending out resources and bringing in income and sending out distributing income you know like they have systems they have systems and so as we are building out our businesses we need to be thinking about that mandate the very first mandate we ever had was to take dominion <laughs> right and so uh, at, this is really gathering me because it's just like a lot of times and I'll speak for myself you know starting my business it starts with an idea and then it just kind of tumbles over from there right and there comes a point in hey make room publicity um there comes a point when you have to go from just kind of the happenstance that happens after you release a big idea <laughs> to you have to start to add structure to that thing. You have to start to truly go from a founder of that thing to the CEO of that thing. And um, that is a transition we all got to make. And I it's been a journey <laughs> for me. I don't I'm still not yet a CEO. Right. 
Um, but God has taken me on a journey to prepare me for that. And um, that is that taking rulership over my business, taking dominion over my business. And that being really the first mandate that God ever gave me <laughs> was to take dominion. It's just really giving me energy um, to think about, yes, like I'm fine. I'm about to rise up <laughs> and truly take dominion, take dominion and rule like I'm supposed to be ruling. I'm not supposed to be and you're not supposed to be, um, you know, stressed and uh, encumbered with work, <laughs> right? We're supposed to to have a measure of ease and a, me and a level of room and space to be able to just to, to live and exist and be with God while our rulership is rulershipping, okay? <laughs> while our dominion is dominioning, right? And the and systems are how we do that. Systems are how we how we make that happen, how we how we rule, right? We rule with systems. Systems allow us to rule and take dominion efficiently, um, restfully, okay? <laughs> are y'all getting a theme <laughs> today? Rest, okay? It's such a high value and should be. And um, and so I just want you to know, um, I want you to know that, and I want you to be encouraged. This also encouraged me. I was reading Colossians chapter 3, verses 9 through 10. And this isn't in the study journal, but this is a little bonus scripture for you. Colossians 3 verses 9 through 10 and that reads um this is paul talking to the colossians and he says uh do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with his deeds and now you've put on the man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him um i want to read it in another translation yeah, the complete Jewish Bible translation says you are being renewed in fuller and fuller knowledge, closer and closer to the image of its creator. Right. That is what's happening with us every day as we are continuing to interface with God. We're becoming closer and closer to his image. And God is a ruler. He is a dominion taker. <laughs> right. And so not only are you called to take rulership over your business and take that dominion, but you are you are being equipped to become that ruler and to become um, that that person who takes dominion. Um, God himself is helping you become a ruler just like him. And as you continue to 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 spend time in your word, like you're doing right now, you're listening to me, you're, you're studying the word in the study journal. I got my little study journal over here. So that's what I'm pointing to. But um, that is all helping and equipping you to to become that ruler um, that you are called to be. And I was just listening to I'm sure y'all know Atomic Habits. If you don't know James Clear Atomic Habits, get into it. It's a, such a powerful thing. Uh, truth and training around becoming ultimately becoming the person that you want to become and and we do that with habits and that's really the message of the book um but i was just kind of meditating on one of his um his talks about it and he just really connected um again for me how the things that we do start to give evidence and proof of who we are and and what our identity really is and so, you know, as I connect that to this, the more that you rule, the more that you are a ruler, right? The more that you take dominion <laughs> over your business, the more that you are that CEO. And it just starts with little steps, little steps. And that first step, find you a system that is already in place that you can put <laughs> into motion, right, for your own business. Um, because that is, that, is, um, that is how you're going to continue to become that ruler that God has called you to be. Um, and so, gosh, yeah, I think that might be, I have one more thing and then I think we might be done, y'all. We might be done. Um, yeah, I think we might be done. I think the, the only other things are, there were, there was more kind of that the Lord gave me around identity that um, I think are important for us to just just wrap our minds around taking rulership because we we have to become a ruler <laughs> in order to take that rulership and to take dominion. And so I really he encouraged me that it's part of our DNA and identity as his children. And um, Romans eight twenty nine just talks about how he determined 
for us in advance to become like Jesus. And I look at Jesus. Jesus created systems too, right? What was the 12 disciples? He literally sent out 12 people <laughs> to deliver a message that has now touched billions around the world. Like, talk about a system. Talk about an effective system creator, <laughs> right? And uh, we are created to, we were, God chose us to be conformed to that image um, even before, you know, you were born right? Like that is something that is in your DNA. If you feel like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not a CEO. I don't even know how I, you know, marketing Marlena. I don't know marketing, right? Like you may be thinking some of those thoughts, but I want you to be encouraged that no rulership is in your DNA, right? Being a king over your, over a domain is in your DNA. Being a CEO, um, a, a person who instills and monitors the systems that are producing the fruits that they're called to produce. That is all in your DNA. Literally your big brother, Jesus <laughs> um, is someone who produced systems. And he told us that greater works will we do than what he did. And I mean, I don't know how much greater you could get than you, you put 12 disciples in place and a billion souls saved later, <laughs> right? From those 12 people, like, that is whoa right but that tells me i can i can do it too i can do it too and that's just oh it means so much for me and i hope it means a lot for you if you have a business that is really all of our all of your businesses <laughs> all of our businesses should be impacting people on some level and so just imagine he impacted those 12 enough that that it could spread to you know so many millions of people um, you have that power too. You can impact that many people too. It's there. <laughs> Greater works will you do. So be encouraged if you don't have that skill, the skills, even more reason, even more reason. If you don't have the skills to, you know, you feel like you don't know the systems and all of that, even more reason to find a system that's already functioning and to just plug and play that thing, right? You don't need to build build the vineyard. You don't need to, to dig the well. It's already figured out. <laughs> I, I guarantee you, if you do enough Google research, you can find chat GPT, something can get you together, all right? <laughs> and you can learn that system, right? Enough to be able to, to, to let it function. And so just be encouraged that you have what it takes uh, just by being a, a creation, a child of God. So um, you can do this. Philippians 4.13, you can build systems through Christ which strengthens you in your business, right? You can become a CEO. Um, you can take rulership over your business through Christ which strengthens you. Uh, it is possible and doable. And listen, I'm going to do it. You're going to do it. We all going to do this thing. <laughs> and some of you are already doing it. You're like, sis, listen, catch up because <laughs> we out here in these good systems already and they are flourishing and life is good and restful and I have peace and presence and margin and ease and soft life. And listen, <laughs> I love to hear it. Okay. That is where um, I believe that God is, is, is leading all of us. And that is a portion that we can all have access to. Um, just by following the word, literally, it's all here in the word, which is just wow. Um, so the last point that I had here, um, and that I wanted to just make sure I walked over with you guys is, uh, it's the scripture is found in Ephesians five verses 15 through 16. And actually the point is I choose to be an excellent steward of my time and energy. I choose to be an excellent steward of my time and energy. And after what we've talked about today, um, you know, systems and stewardship go hand in hand, right? We all have a finite amount of time and energy while we're here in this life, in this on this earth. And if we want to make sure we get the best, biggest bang for our bunk, buck, <laughs> we have to be become excellent stewards of the time and the energy that God has given to us. Truly, those are... I mean, when you want to talk about is God my provider and has he given me, you know, money and wealth and all those things. And it's like I, he's giving you time. <laughs> he's giving you energy. That is some of the biggest provision you could ever ask for. And he has given it to you freely. And we have to become good stewards of that. And systems allow us to do that, especially systems we didn't have to build. 
all right? Um, how can I get more of my time and energy back so that I can be even more available for whatever God has called me to do so that I can be even more available um, for myself <laughs> so that I can love my neighbor as I love myself and continue to elevate how much I'm loving me and how much I'm loving people, right? How can I create and buy back as much of my time and energy as possible using these systems, right? And so the scripture that goes with that again, Ephesians 5, 15 through 16, and this is the complete Jewish Bible translation. And it says, therefore, pay careful attention to how you conduct your life. Live wisely, not unwisely. Okay, live wisely, not unwisely. It is wise to install systems. It is wise to spend as little time, the least amount of time, the least amount of energy, the least amount of money necessary, <laughs> right? To accomplish, um, you know, getting from A to B, right? The least, most efficient <laughs> possible thing, right? That's wise, right? It's wise and not wasteful. And so it says, use your time well, for these are evil days. Y'all, this has really been just such a Oh, if you've been following along, I've talked about this in, in previous weeks, but this has been such a huge kind of recent revelation in life as I am heading, I'm getting closer to 40 and um, just thinking about how I want to use the rest of my time here on earth. And I'm just like, man, I, there's so many things and ways that I feel like I've wasted time. And I just want to, I just want to use what I have left in the most efficient productive, restful, God-led, God, you know, breathe way possible, <laughs> you know? And so that has been my prayer, Lord. Show me, make me know what it means that my days are numbered so that I just, I stay quick to obey your commands and make the most of my time on earth because that's what stewardship is, you know? Making the most of your time, making the most of your resources that God has given you. I want him to be like, that girl, I know I can trust her with time. I know I can trust her with money. I know I can trust her with resources because she is an excellent steward. She is going to yield a hundredfold <laughs> of whatever I put into her, right? That's what I want to do. And I know it's possible. I know that I can do it. I know that I can produce even more with even less. <laughs> and that is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to tap into that divine level of, you know what I'm saying? We all got kingdom power, divine abilities. <laughs> and I just want to tap into that walking on water type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's walk on water with these good systems. Let's make some stuff shake. <laughs> Uh, by just speaking a word and it happened, right? Like, let's just be Jesus out here in our businesses and in our lives so that, you know, we can just, we can just be out here great commissioning all over the world, right? So that's what time I'm on. I don't know about you, but, um, hopefully this blessed you. Um, let's go ahead and pray and then we will close out and talk about what we're going to talk about next week. Lord, thank you for this good word today. Thank you so much for the example that you have left us to follow um, and, and not only giving us the example of you creating systems, but also giving us the power to do what you did and create systems in our own businesses. Um, so, Lord, I just ask that you would help every single person under the sound of my voice to utilize systems in order to distribute the talents that you have blessed them with. Um, show us, give us wisdom, give us a keen eyesight to see the systems that you've already put in place for us to activate in our businesses. Um, give us eyes to see those systems and to, to operate them, Lord. And Father, also like you've done for me, I pray that you would also do the work within our hearts, within our minds that needs to happen so that we can be better rulers. Um, and um, loving rulers <laughs> over our businesses and over the the um, the property that you have given us and the territory that you have given us to rule over and help us to just be willing uh, participants help us to be surrendered to your surgery and work in us so that we can rule at um, a just a loving God breathed level Lord uh, we love you I also pray that you would show all of us 
help us all to see the lives that systems can help us produce for ourselves. Lord, I pray that each person listening, that you would show them vision for what life looks like on the other side of installing those systems into their lives and into their businesses, Lord, and help us to go after that vision and to become the people that we see ourselves becoming. Um, We love you. We thank you. You are so good. We ask and receive all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, y'all. That was good. Thank you, Lord, for that good word. Uh, Next week, next week is week 44. Guys, we have less than 10 weeks to go in the Big Idea Food study series. I mean, what are we going to do? Like 10 weeks and we're and it's over. You're just going to have to start all over, okay? Because <laughs> I will be coming back because there is another book coming after Big Idea Food and it it's going to need a study journal. So if, if the Lord agrees, we will come right back on here and do them live again. And um, I'm very excited to do that. But uh, it's going to be a little break. It's going to be a little break. So definitely, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Big Idea Food YouTube channel. Okay, so you can get all the good lives that we have done. We have week 43. So you got 43 weeks of lives, um, 43 weeks of studies to really just fuel your life. <laughs> OK, um, so get into it. But next week is week 44. My steps stay ordered. This is a good one. OK, our steps stay ordered. Okay, I was just talking to a friend and listen, he has already figured it out. He has already figured it out. While you trying to figure it out, he's already worked it out. (laughs) So next week is going to be good. Make sure you join uh, if you can be here live. Um, If not, I will see you next week inside of the study journal. I love you guys so, so much. Um, Hey, Nakia Boo. Oh, oh, you just got here, girl. (laughs) But yes, girl, you know, the replay will be up here shortly um but i'm glad i got to see your name and your headshot pop up which is such a cute headshot too i love that headshot of you um anywho i love you guys thank you for being here and i will see you next week bye